to Speakeasy Bourbon Hunting, and my name is Danielle. And I'm Terry. And we want to share with you our next drop that we just did at Winthrop in Riverview, Florida. Where they do a barrel pick, if you, um, and then some allocations along with that. If you like these type of videos, um, if you would, please uh, get, shoot us some places that you know that are doing drops here in the Tampa Bay area. We'll go, we'll film them, we'll put them out there for you, and then you can tell your friends. <laughs> and it kind of gives you an idea of how each location does their their drops, and that's kind of what we're, we're wanting to do. Um, we might actually uh, try something special after this video and and crack open uh, one of the the bottles that we got and and share along with you what it actually if we enjoy it if, if it was something we would buy again and um, let's get to the video. So I'm out here at Winthrop Liquors. Uh, you can see here uh, he's doing a a short barrel barrel drop I'm gonna kind of walk you through the, the store here and and show you how it works and what's going on today the bar this is what's actually dropping today the short barrel all right, so these are the bottles that we're dropping today. We got, if you buy the store pick, you can a chance to buy one of these bourbons. What would you pick? Leave me a comment so they've done it a little different here which I kind of like you show up you get a ticket and this is kind of where everybody's hanging out doing a bottle share there's some food and merch on the table awesome that's some awesome bottle shares out back here on the patio all right brad what time did you get here got here about seven went to mcdonald's over here got some breakfast and uh pulled up put put the chair in the car or got the chair out of the car put the chair down got back in the car because it was pretty cold and then the sun came out and then I was watching kids go to school while I was standing in the sun, seeing if anybody else, waiting for other people to show up. So you're the first one? First one. How long was it before the second person showed up? Second person came about 8, I think. It was either like, it was either 7.30 to 8.30 or 7 to 8. Okay. Yeah, I saw that on the Whiskey Society, someone was here at 7 o'clock. I don't know if you are on the Tampa Bay Whiskey Society. You said that, um, so people were already commenting it. About 7.05, I think someone put on there that you were here. So, uh, And I'm talking about here, we're at the Winthrop Liquors here, and they're doing um, what us bourbon guys call as a bourbon drop, uh, right. which is a, a, uh, a barrel release, but they're also going to do some allocated bottles with that. What are you, what are you going to get? Being first in line. I saw Mixers 10 bourbon. Uh, potentially being an allocated item so I was gonna try my hardest to be one of the first people in line so the first bottles go in Michter's 10 Michter's 10 bourbon yes so. and I was talking to some people and just saying how uh, good it is when you get out here just to be able to try when we do a bottle share to be able to try all the bourbons that people bring so you don't necessarily have to spend that hundred hundred forty dollars on a bottle and not know what it tastes like um, being out here at this one is we were all given tickets as we showed up so you know where you're at in line 
and uh, you don't have to sit there and actually stand in line. You actually just uh, have your ticket, and then when your, your ticket number is called, you're able to get your your your, your bottle. Hey, Terry. Uh, yeah, I was just letting you know. I love the whole setup here, sitting on the patio. Got my ticket ready, but don't have to wait in the line. Get to meet a bunch of cool people, having some bourbon. I was working, but now I'm watching Tiger Woods play some golf first round back, and obviously trying some of the great bottle share that we're having here. It's an amazing concept to also allow the bottle share inside the patio area. Also lucked out, 75 degrees, beautiful weather, can't beat it. What, have you done the drops before? I've never done any here yet, no. Um, I've been to a few around town at different places, but uh, definitely love the, uh, the concept and setup here. I didn't know that this was a thing. Is this the first time they've done it like this here? This is, I believe, the first time that I've been to the Winthrop one. Okay. They've done I've been to other places and love them as well. No disrespect, because definitely, uh, there's everybody's got their own thing that they do really well, but this is a cool setup if there's another release. Uh, I'll definitely do it again. We're doing some cigar rolling. Starting the first four in line are coming in. Let's see, I'll show you. First four. There it goes. Mictors, Mictors. Thank you. Good job. Thank you. Is this the barrel pack? Yes. There's some back here too. The barrel, so about six, six or eight people have gone through. Still got a lot left. So this is still the line in the back. Of course, this is the, the bottle share. 
best one I've seen. But it's also eight years old. Looks like some bottles are now missing. No bland. <laughs> no. No, they don't. I did. I take that back. I used to. Yeah. Yes. What you gonna get? I'm surprised how Elijah Craig Toasted Barrel is still there. It's supposed to be 200 bucks. How much? I don't know. What is it? It's probably less than, probably about 70. Hey, Mario. Huh? Oh. I don't get the last one. What number, what number are we at? What number are you? 54. 54. Uh, so 56. Uh, and so that's. 26 people have come through and the blends is still here and the small batch is still here and the Igor there's not one I don't think not one maybe one blends maybe two blends here comes pigeon Pigeon. Six months ago, these would have been the first ones to go. Yeah. Uh, now. Crazy, huh? So, walking away from Winthrop. Awesome bourbon drop today. I'll show you what I ended up getting. Now that you have finished watching the video, these are the three that we actually picked up from the drop. And I'm just going to let Terry explain all of these and then maybe we can try this one. <laughs> yes. Love crack that one open tonight. So this is the short barrel that we got. Obviously you saw, if you saw in the video, there merch. was some merch on the table. Pick me up a short barrel shirt. Um, they the were out of smalls. <laughs> yep. Or I would have been wearing it <laughs> for sure. So we ended up getting their old Forester, uh, Winthrop store pick, uh, which uh, Morgan there was telling me was uh, a lot higher in in the years. This was their uh, previous. How many years do you think? I think he said this was uh, their up to 10, 10 to 12 years uh, in the barrel. And then now they're doing um, six to seven years, I think, uh, when they do the, the picks. So this was a, actually I don't know if it says it on here. This one is 128.3 proof. Uh, oop, it doesn't say the the, the, years. the, the barrel oh, years. So, so what we're gonna do is end up cracking this one open tonight, and kind of giving you some feedback. Uh, like I said, the rep was there. Um, they had just got these in. It's the smoke wagon Christmas. Uh, I personally never tried this. They actually had it there um, during the bottle drop, but uh, I didn't actually get a chance to try it while I was there. So we're gonna let this sit for a few moments and air out, and then we're gonna come back in just a few moments and, and give you our thoughts on how the taste is and if we would buy it again. Okay, we've kind of let this sit um, for the last probably five, maybe ten minutes. Uh, we lost track. We were talking. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so <laughs> let's uh, post it up and see what your thoughts are. Hmm. What's your thoughts, Dan? Mine are... When I first take that sip, that first sip, it was um, <coughs> sweet and also like caramel. I think that's how you say it, right? Caramel. Yeah. And um, if you're not familiar with Smoke Wagon, it is from Las Vegas Distillery. And so. I definitely get that sweet um, on the, the caramel. Uh, and then. Then after that, it kind of goes off into like an oak, oak. Yep. Uh, taste. Oak, yeah. 